Hi guys, Steam VR finally added the new function called asynchronous reprojection to its beta release of Steam VR, and that gives massive performance boost while playing VR games with HTC Vive. And I'm going to show you how you do that, how you enable that function, so you can enjoy your games with better frames per second uh, and better gameplay overall. So first of all, you'll need the Steam VR beta release. Uh, so open up uh, Steam and go to Library Tools. Then you have to right click on Steam VR, uh, click on Properties, go to the Ford here, Betas, and choose Beta Steam VR beta update. When you do that and click close, then Steam is going to update. So instead of using the regular Steam VR version, you're going to use a beta version of Steam VR. And that enables the new function, a synchronous reprojection. So when it's done, you start up Steam VR. And then it looks like this, of course. My wife is on here right now, except for the controllers. Uh, and uh, you right click here, go to settings. And now on the performance tab, you have the new function here called allow asynchronous reprojection. As default, both of these, both the allow asynchronous reprojection and allow interleaved reprojection, both are enabled. Uh, but that's not going to give you the performance boost that you want. So uh, you have to disable the allow interleave reproduction by unclicking it here. Also, you have to go to developer tab and disable the enable always on reprojection. If you do that, you're going to get much better performance in games while playing HTC Vive. And I'm going to show you an example of how it works. If I just go here, if I'm in, I, I'm inside the project course right now. As you see, if I have both of this checked, both allow synchronous reprojection and allow interleaved in reprojection, you're going to see that my frames. I have the fire burner uh, on screen display on, so you can see the frame rate over there. It's it's bending around 45 frames, frames per second. And that means it's lowering the frame rate from the 19 down to 45, and then reprojects every second frame. And that's not how the asynchronous is working. If, if I unclick the allow interleave reprojection, Right here, look at check check out the frames per second. Now it's rising up to now I'm inside a game. Now it's focused. And now and now it should be ninety frames per second stable. So that's how it works. And uh, you'll see that you will get much better performance. I couldn't be able to run high textures and high detail on the cars and everything before, but now I can with the asynchronous reprojection. So give it a try and uh, yeah, that's all guys. Thanks.